Greetings and welcome to another tutorial of PostMy Contact Form 7 plugin. I've inf installed the, the plugin already over here. Um, if you want the details about uh, the plugins that I'm using in this tutorial, which uh, is the Contact Form 7, the PostMy CF7 form, which this um, tutorial is about, as well as the Smart Grid, um, you will find these details in my previous video in this playlist which is a tutorial on posting form submissions to a custom post. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover um, the posting to an existing post. Uh, so I've prepared a small uh, form here, which is basically form to post, nothing complicated there. Uh, I got a post title and a post content to start off with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, post uh, the submissions into a new post over here. So how are we going to go about this? Um, we're going to map this uh, form to post here. And as you can see here, we have uh, the first thing we need to do is decide what post type this uh, form is going to be uh, mapped to. Uh, by default, it's a new post. By new post, uh, the plugin would actually create a new post type. Uh, you can see currently we have the post media pages uh, and, a, and a couple more courses and contact us. And if I was to let the plugin create a, a new post type, by default, it's suggesting a post type called form to post. And, um, and this would be handled by the plugin. However, what we want to do in this tutorial is we want to actually post to an existing post. So we need to select the second option here. And you see now I do not have any more options as to how to configure the post. Um, if you want um, details about mapping your form to a custom post whereby the form, um, whereby the plugin will create the post for you and the post type, uh, then I suggest you look at the previous video. So here um, we have a list of all the existing posts, uh, post types, uh, which are currently configured in this WordPress installation. And, and we're going to choose basically the, the, the default one, the post. Uh, the post title obviously is going to be uh, the form a field that I've called post title and the form uh, the, uh, post content field is going to be mapped to the post content and that's it that's all we want to do for this uh, demonstration we have to move this from draft to live so that it accepts um, posting of submissions and saving to the post uh, you can see about this uh, draft and live uh, switch button in the previous video if you didn't see that so now we update this mapping and that has, seems to have worked. So you can see here we are now live. The mapping is live. It's going to an existing post, which is the post. And the, the post title uh, field will be saved into the post title and the post content field would be saved to the post content. So let's see if this works. And here we have, because I am using the smart grid, uh, there is a very quick and um, useful little shortcut link that allows me to preview my form in a page on the front end without actually having to insert the shortcode, the um, contact form 7 shortcode into a page and then loading that page and stuff. So I'm going to just click on my preview button and here is the, the form um, that we design. So hello world, let's say as a title this is a short post and we now um, oh we forgot a submit button so let me try that again I forgot a submit button
So here we are. Now we have actually a submit button appearing and let's submit this. So here, here we are, the, the, the form has been successfully submitted. Now let's see if we actually have a post that has been creating, created in our post. We refresh and there you go. We have the hello world. Uh, it's by default uh, classified under the uncategorized term. And if we open this post, we should be able to see the post contents. And no, thank you this is a short post over here right now So here, I have disabled the um, Gutenberg um, editor and back to the classic. So you can see here that the title has been saved correctly and so has been, been the content um, for this submission.